It's Wednesday, it's the 15th of June. Hey there, I'm Ashton out, Terry. So everyone excited about the abs, but if you're like me and can't afford to go to the game, to be honest, uh, they're gonna be maybe watching on uh, the big screens on one of the big watch parties tonight. Uh, everything looks good. Gates open at the Tivoli Quad at Auraria at 4 p.m. Puck drop at 6 p.m. Temperatures will start in the 80s, then we'll eventually drop through the 70s. Don't want to forget about our Rockies. Hey, they almost won last night. We'll see what happens tonight uh, with Cleveland. So we got the abs and the Rockies in town tonight. Mostly clear skies for both of those events. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s in the mountains today, 80s elsewhere in the state. One thing for sure is that it's going to be noticeably cooler for most of Colorado today. We may still hit 90 down here for a few spots, but most of the state will stay below 90 and no triple digits expected anywhere in Colorado today. Different story tomorrow. Notice how much more red is on this map. Start warming up into the 90s uh, in Denver for Thursday and mid to upper 90s expected here on Friday. Fort Collins could hit 97 and we'll likely see at least some 100 degree heat on the eastern plains coming up on uh, Friday afternoon. Small chance for a late day thunderstorm on Friday as well. And then for the weekend, a 30% chance for storms on Saturday, 40% chance for thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening for Father's Day on Sunday. We'll hang on to a chance for thunderstorms into early next week as we officially start summer next Tuesday. And that also means the start of the Colorado Renaissance Festival in Larkspur. Wouldn't be the Ren Fen without at least a chance for a thunderstorm, it would seem. And we do have a 40% chance there in southern Douglas County, both Saturday and Sunday with warm temperatures in the 80s. Lauren's coming up tonight with your latest forecast on CBS 4 News at 5, 6, and 10. So we'll see you then. And of course, join us on the stream anytime today. Your latest forecast every 10 minutes on CBS News Colorado.